Hi, welcome to the first uh, Ryan and Thompson progressive video. We decided uh, we'd make little little production updates uh, according to whatever we're working on at the time. The stage we're on right now in Ryan and Thompson 4 is, I was going to insert a, a subtitle there, but still working on that. Like Ryan and Thompson 4. The one about the burritos and lawyers. Anyway, we're we're on storyboarding right now, which is for us the first part of any uh, video, because we don't like scripts, so we storyboard it and then half-ass the dialogue. And when I'm not, when I'm in class and not making awesome drawings of Texas, what you'll see is. 800 miles from top to bottom and 773 miles from left to right. I'm doing storyboards. Up here you'll see my uh, storyboards for the segment of this episode that I wrote. We're kind of like, uh, well, you know, other production companies that split up the writing into segments. Like, you know, Saturday Night Live has the writers, they each write their own little bit and it all comes together. Well. You know, we each have ideas that we storyboard and then just kind of smash together into the episode. I'm writing about burritos, and Ryan writes about lawyers. Yep, I write about lawyers. And, um, what I'm doing is the rest of the script, or the rest of the storyboarding here, and it's coming along nicely. We got, we got a little, uh, introduction up here with a little, uh, whatever. And, uh, you know, I mostly do it on the plain old notebook paper. I do have little character drawings here, but they're not really important, and they don't really match the characters that we're going to put in this film, I think. But anyways, yeah, that's what I'm doing, and I'm having a blasty blast. A miniature blast of blasty. But, uh, yeah, I do, I do some analog storyboarding, and Thompson can fill you in on digital storyboarding. That's right. See, I mostly draw this, this analog storyboarding, as Ryan called it, in class, when I'm not drawing awesome pictures of Texas and writing notes. You know the Texas coastline is 623 miles? That's neither here nor there, though, because more often, because even more often than I take notes, I sleep. I sleep through most of my classes, so I, I, it's really not a productive time to do storyboarding. Which, which is why I do digital storyboarding with the Wacom tablet and my computer. You can't really see it because it is a, uh, a crappy monitor and it kind of fuzzes. But uh, here's my storyboard. It's a, a pivotal moment where a character discovers uh, malfeasance, and uh, yeah, it's digital storyboarding, and that's why I gave Mortal Kombat 2 an 8.5 out of 10. It's not the most balanced fighter out of the whole uh, Mortal Kombat genre, you know, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but hey, it's a whole lot better than Mortal Kombat Trilogy, because um, that threw in a whole lot of characters, and it just made the Mortal, Com Mortal Kombat uh, uh, fight engine completely imbalanced. I mean, come on, Shao Kahn against like Liu Kang, who's gonna win? I mean, Liu Kang wins in the movie, but Shao Kahn is so powerful, and he's all like, I got a hammer, I got a hammer, and Liu Kang's like, blah, 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 blah. and it, it just doesn't make sense. And that's why I think Mortal Kombat 2 should uh, have a little bit of dignity and have an 8.5, even though it is like, what, oh, 1994, that's like, what, a billion years old in uh, video game years? Because video game years has their own, uh, you know, whatever. But, yeah. And here's Thompson for the next video game we're going to review. These rechargeable batteries don't work in my Wii remotes. Also, the Mortal Kombat's were better on the SNES. <laughs> 